Welcome guys. In the previous video, we tried to validate our data, which enters our database and uh, store it in our database. In this video, we will learn how to retrieve our data and display them. And uh, we have done this before in our user section, which is and, uh, here we just get the user's data and display them here. But with the post, I will do a little bit different and add a pagination while we get uh, we have uh, hundreds of posts so we cannot uh, see them just one screen so there must be a pagination and those pagination should show um, that paginate to next page another page and, and each page should show at least 10 or 15 posts so that's what we are going to do in this video uh, first i will just make some more posts Okay, let's submit done okay that's good we got an error here that 404 not found that is because uh, after creating our post here i have redirected it to the posts uh, route so it uh, i think it must be post according to our routes here slash post will uh, just lead us to our uh, main index method that is now coming back and let me uh, this post is done for post three you can see now that is fine again the tell uh, post uh, if you come to database and see we have four posts here but uh, inside our main post section in our on our dashboard we cannot see any post because we have not retrieved yet and so that is very easy and in our index post controller here we have the index we we have set the, the title page title to post page and now here we will retrieve the data let's say posts equal and we will use the eloquent model or post uh, model here we have the posts the models and we have the post and this will just get the data if i just use the all method all the posts will be returned and let's just check it in raw there's our posts this will return all the posts retrieved from the uh, database refresh it here you go we go now we have to make it a bit uh, look like uh, in a good manner on a table or list or something like that in our dashboard so i will just rem remove this return from here pass our uh, post to the view posts and post by the name this name this name will be accessible in our view so let's save it and go to our view which is this post start dot php and welcome again the list post so i'll remove this one instead of this i'll put a table and inside the table we will uh, iterate or loop through the um, array of our uh, posts let me uh, make the table then i'll come back here you go our table is ready and it will show the details of the posts id title and content only if you want like we can add more classes to our table to make it more beautiful let me do that as well so now uh, the data which is uh, which is passed via the controller index for index function of the controller to our view to our posts view we have to show it here let's say inside uh, at for each posts as post and end the for each inside this uh, for each record we need a row so i'll use the table row and inside the table row we need some tds like td for the the first one will be for the uh, id of the post we can simply say post id and let me copy it. the second one is for the title post title the third one is for the content so it will be and uh, this uh, this should this indexes should be according to the migration or database 
and table names like content title and again you can say user id those things and let's save it and see and do we get or not here you go we have the id the title here and the content so we got successfully all the data and i'll create another column called actions and we will put the delete edit and something like that inside it so let's say td and we'll put inside it a, a delete or uh, edit um, actions here let's see for the first a uh, what to do with the first a so edit what to edit and then we will write the routes let's say go to post slash edit and then slash the id of the post again accessing the id is very easy and we can put this one yeah yes so let's refresh it yeah we got the contents as well now if you just uh, over on the edit you will see in the bottom le left side of the screen the link that we will go to the post edit and edit post we will do that in the next video and i'll just uh, design this one with the tailwind css in the backend so after this link is uh, created we will do it in the next video but here we have not yet uh, reached the go our goal which was uh, displaying data with the uh, pagination so if our data is more than 10 or 15 so it should paginate to other page because we cannot display them all in one just one page so how to do that let's come to our controller and just uh, instead of this all we can use the paginate let's say paginate 3 because we have four uh, uh, let's say four we have four records in our database and if it uh, exceeds this one more than the four then it should paginate so for that and when we paginate from here we have to display this paginate this the pagination uh, on our view as well so here is our table and below the table i will add the pagination with the laravel you can it is very easy and you can just use this variable that you are passing from the controller let's say posts and link that's uh, that's it and the pagination will uh, be there sorry let it links and let's refresh and now it is not uh, just showing the pagination because we have only four posts and we said that uh, paginate after four posts so if we add another post post five and put some content or details here some details more than 20 now now we can see that we got a pagination showing one to four or five results total we have five and if you click on the second page it will go to the second page and show you the next list here you go our last post and i will design this table behind the scene with telvin css if you don't know how to use telvin css then i'll put the link uh, of my telvin series and uh, get benefit from that thank you very much for this video in the next video we are going to work for the with the uh, modifying our uh, contents